guys, this is Jerry with yet another video. I hope you're doing good, guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually show your keyboard inputs on your obvious uh, live stream or recordings like this one you see on this video at the bottom left corner of this video you can see that as you play this game uh, you see the keyboard input and animations right so I'll show you how to do this so first thing first what you need to do, do is just go to this web page I have put the link in the description and download this input overlay version 4.7.4b okay then download it and I have it here just double click and you have these files in it uh, you have this Linux version as well if you are we if your operating system is Linux you should be using this one but I'm, and this studio really is actually for Windows users okay so and if we have these uh, two options and there is this you we don't need this one so we are going with this presets and the plugins so first thing is what you needed to do is just open the plugins and you need to copy these two folders to your OBS root folder for example so you have installed your OBS on program files or program files ID it's mostly program files so then you have this OBS studio folder and you need to copy this to folder to this root folder then it will be uh, copy to the plugins and data folder okay that's where the named uh, data and obvious plugins just like you see in this obvious uh, program files okay program folder so just copy it there then you need to give the permission to do it just continue and continue and continue that will be copied so and if you go to the data and you have this obvious plugins and you see this input overlay so there are several other plugins as well that you can actually access from obvious and if you go to this uh, obvious plugin 64 and you see this input overlay dot dll so see that and there is another file as well okay so that comes in the bundle so after that we have this uh, presets so we are going to use some of these presets to show the key, uh, keyboard inputs on obvious so if you open this obvious now you, you see nothing no other uh, source inputs options just close it just close it and relaunch it and if you click but you see this input overlay options again okay. Before that, what, do we, what we needed to do is we need to create a presets folder in the obvious. You don't necessarily need to create your so folder in the obvious program folder. You can actually create anywhere on your hard drive. Okay. Then we are going to create uh, some subfolders in the name of these um, presets you see here in this zip folder. Okay. So we have created a folder called presets or keyboard it's better to keep all these presets in the obvious in case you want to get all of them from your computer you can just come to this folder because you know that obvious is installed on program folder so uh, in the C drive you can always come back then delete them if you ever want to okay or if you want to change some settings or if you want to change the presets as well you can come here and delete them later so it's better to create some some folder in this presets keyboard folder that I have created and you see that I have two options here an arrow key icons and WSD ex extended you see this some of these names in this zip folder as well in that uh, presets folder here see that WSD extended and arrow key icons something like that so so you see that arrow key icons so I have created two subfolders in this presets keyboard folder. Uh, one is WSD extended and arrow key icons. And just copy this. Uh, what you needed to do is just go to uh, this create a folder. Then copy this thing to here. This opening just just extract here and all of them will be extracted here and you see this input uh, this presets and here you get this input presets so what we are going to do is just 
create subfolder in the OBS pro program folder. And I've just created first created a preset keyboard and create some subfolders in these names. So for example, just another one. So continue and give it a name like mm, WSD full uh, WSD full and change the name of this folder and open the folder and open this presets then close copy these three files and just paste it here and continue continue just continue okay for all these three files okay then after that go to OBS then click add button and click input overlay and just add it and make sure that it uh, it sits at the top of other source source files okay so here input overlay double click it just browse and go to that folder root folder that we where where we have saved these presets so go to obvious if you have saved you know if you see the presets here and go there and wsd full this is where what we are going to use now just double tap use the use this file not this one this one and you see that then after that you need to uh, choose the config file of this particular presets then click browse and you see this WSD uh, full dot ini file in the same folder so WSD full and ini just choose it you get it boom and you can see that you can adjust the position here just right click and if you lock it you can adjust it just unlock it and just move anywhere you want anywhere you want to place it just and you can adjust the size of it see that like this yeah just the size of it and then after that just lock there you go and here you can see that it's animated now if you want to add mouse um, oh well you can do that as well just click uh, add button and add another input overlay uh, input overlay then input overlay 2 then you need to add the presets here just add another folder uh, like so then see the name of the mouse presets mm, that this mouse okay so mouse and copy the name create that folder you don't necessarily need to add this folder here you can add it anywhere so just add it I'm sorry guys then we have created this mouse presets folder just open it and just open this presets zip uh, zip folder then just copy all these files let's try just copy all these files anyway and just copy to this uh, presets keyboard I mean mouse presets folder just click continue continue for all just do do this for all you can check it check it then that's it then after that go to input overlay I mean input overlay source on your OBS we have this one here for this WASD and this one we are gonna use for the mouse then browse the presets first for the mouse and you have this one okay just presets then the next one is the browse and use um so just use this okay so it's been created so just click okay so then we have this mouse here so you see that you can put anywhere here and adjust the size of it like for example like this so there is this small mouse overlay here or you can put it somewhere here like this so it looks nice right and mouse and the keyboard so that looks really cool now you can see that each and every time I hit anywhere so I have this animation here so you see that 
that, that looks really cool, right? And whenever you record videos or stream uh, with these two input sources active, it'll be recorded and it'll be shown on your live stream as well. So that's it. That's how you actually show your inputs on your obvious videos like obvious recordings or obvious live stream. So you, you can actually add some other stuff as well. If, if you want to add like game controller, you can, there is a, a preset for that as well in this bundle. And if you go here, then here you can see that mouse, uh, this gamepad. So in that case, you need to create another folder here. So just create in this preset keyboard folder and another folder continue and name it like gamepad let's go with this okay copy this name change the name of it name of this folder and paste it and open it just double tap the zip folder and then copy all these files to this folder and continue boom we have this uh, gamepad presets so what we are gonna do is just add another one so input overlay just click it the third one and browse for that gamepad overlay and choose this version not this one go for this one okay so choose that the next one uh, gamepad ini that's in the same folder okay so choose this now we have this okay so we have awesome uh, unfortunately i i don't have uh gamepad so i can show the animation i have the keyboard so i don't know if it works i have some gamepad controls on my steering wheel but it doesn't work unfortunately but if you if you actually use gamepad it'll work you can actually adjust the size of it just right click right click on the preview then unlock it and choose the that particular source then just adjust the size let's say and put somewhere in here so you have a small gamepad overlay here okay so that you, your viewers can actually see as you stream that's really cool right how you actually use your gamepad or whether it's keyboard whether it's Mm, your mouse as you play games especially it's really cool for you know streamers I mean gaming streamers of course so that's it guys that's how you actually add your gamepad overlay or keyboard overlay or mouse overlay on your OBS recordings or live streams so make sure you always put these three no these input overlays on top of other sources you add otherwise it'll be completely covered by other sources for example if i put uh something like you know i don't know what's in it okay that's completely different stuff okay for example uh we put this somewhere here and enable it and change the change it to something like as well nine legends and that's gone you won't see your overlay so make sure you always put these overlays on top of other sources you add on your OBS otherwise you won't see it. okay you know that right that's that's common sense so <clears throat> just delay it I don't want it okay or just make sure you disable any uh, source that you add on top of this one just disable it then you can see this overlay and other stuff so just let's put it somewhere here okay that's it so that's it, guys that's how you actually add your keyboard input overlays on your obvious recordings or obvious live streams so that's guys guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching